Kayondo Godfrey Frederick Moganzi biri deseta kiwanga Rwanda obuzibwo bundese wano olwalero ne no bulwadde bwa sukali maze nabo emyaka 10 na gumu naye watu sene bumvira mu okufuna akabwa ka force septic ningende ibaga mu dwalero nga sukali wanga ali waguru nnyo nga ali abiri mu biri ne mbera yo kutanda nga takka nga bante kakodagala nga takka Okay, we reach the chang. We bang ambacha galak fuka diabetic foot. Ngabali na option e yoku chisalako. Nemba gamba ndi mto ndi mukiriza. Nsabange zisekato nda wange. Kukun kala kata neva toka kumagumba. Neva nte kaka kuma kano ke mola ba wano. Na ya kuma kano. Buli duvani malo na kusatu nsasule metwa lo china na mama sambu. Ngatekuli kuzat dua liro zavasau. Bampe dagala lino. Barita metaforming. Nino kumida mpeke e, muku macha nga sinaba kulia mmele. Nibampa insuli nyono. Nobu isobu no. Mwe kuba nga mazo kulia. Mwe maru kulia mmele wenti. Nino kwe kuba haka iso kuluboto. Nino kuba mpiso zino bili bulirunaku. Zino na zi mpeke mire mpeke bili bulirunaku. Zine mpiso zi nko zesa okwe kuba edagalali na okolobudu. Atesi jiganogo kabangu bane mpiso yendala kumikono. Ebanga li mirida malagala gano. Ngabangu bane mpiso kumikono, ngane kubane insuli na okolobudu. Sukali wa aganyo kuka. Awadde muabiri mubiri akoma mukumi na mukaga kumi na munaana. Uwadde buno bumazeke miaka kumi na gumu. Zinoze barua zedua lile zika kaso uwadde wange. Zize wanonga nzikiriza nti nzuhuru nja kusabiru ila mpone. Uwadde buno nukuguru kwa nge kule mekutemu wako. So, the sickness which is on you is asking and checking on you whether you know who Buku gave za... you that hand, leg, stomach. You have gone to the doctor. Medicine has failed to work upon it. The pain is asking. I'm called Godfrey Frederick Muganzi. I'm called Buyondo Godfrey Frederick Muganzi. I come from Seta. For 11 years I have diabetes. And it is 16.5. The machine you see here on my body. The doctors were suggesting to amputate one of my legs. But I refused. I said, I am a Christian. I'm a believer. I want to be prayed for. I cannot allow that. And what has brought me here? I want the prophet to pray for me. I cannot walk. I need someone to support me. When this machine is removed, I can see the bones of this leg. And I pay 870,000 shillings for this machine every after three days. I have strong belief and faith without any doubt that I'm going to get my healing from here of diabetes. As you see this machine, Amazi mubiri guange, amasira, obuchafu, okugeza ako kusika enyama, edemu, ekomewo, ne, ne misuwa ejari wanukubanga jasari wawo, mbuchijia jikuza. 
It is said to remove every pass, every unwanted body, and to put my flesh in order, and all the nerves and muscles of the leg in order. Katibuli duvanyu marana kusatu balino kujane bachitusa ne kubango buchafu bugenda wano. Now every after three days they have to come and reset this machine because the dirt from the body accumulates here in the machine. Trust uh, Jesus. We sige Yesu. In the name Jesus. Mulinye ria Yesu. B. Wonyesebwa. Brethren, right now the man of God is in prayer for Brother Godfrey Biondo. Watch, brethren, as the Lord Jesus is healing him and touching his life. Healing him of his diabetes that has caused these painful wounds on the leg and the foot. Watch the working of Jesus Christ in the legs of our brother. Watch, brethren. Remember, he has suffered diabetes for 11 years. He's now getting up. Watch, brethren. He's now separating the machine from his feet. And now, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This lady is my wife. Okay, let's hear from her. I'm not wondering Catherine from Satan. Besides, it's my husband, Buyondo Godfrey. We were not sleeping anymore. My husband would cry all the time. At the moment, I'm speechless. I'm overjoyed. Remove and they put just a plaster. Chine, ojachi jako wateke kwa butesi plaster. Yes. But you people. Neba hantu mwe. Do you say he has diabetes. Ne wakubade muga mba nchali nubu wade wa sukari. We all accept it. Fena tuchikiriza. But remember. Na ye jukira. The land of the mango trees. Etaka okuli emiti jemi yembe. My name is Buyondo Godfrey Muganzi. What the man of God has said is true. The, the land he has talked about on which there are mango trees is in Masaka, a place called Luanonda Chitenge. That is where they buried my father, and that is the home that they had built for my grandfather. This is where the problem comes from. And you know the misunderstanding is over there. What the man of God has said is very true. I had spent a long time without going to Masaka. And whenever I think of going to Masaka, I think that I'll get an accident. Then I do not go. That land has wrongs. This is the issue now. It is now six years. In these wrangles. That is very true. This is the land killing you. Now the Lord Jesus is telling me. It is because of this land. 
that you are in this problem. Yes, sir. I believe it is very true. Because when I was in Rubaga, the they put on me very many drips and they would take me but the diabetes would not come low. The doctor came and laughed and said, you're strong. People die, but you, you're not worried. But know that whatever money you're going to get is going to be wasted on treating you. And you're going to live like that, treating your life. But brethren, I tell you, spending 2.4 million shillings every week, treating a small wound that started by a dog bite. I started with 2.4 million shillings. That means at the end of it all, I'll end up with no money at all. Then I'll start eating less to treat the sickness. But I thank Jesus. You have heard the gospel of Jesus. It was all about me. Man of God has been talking about the name. And I was lying down. And the example he was giving was that place. He's taking you back to God. I believe that I am healed. Now I feel fine. I am healed. I thank Jesus. For allowing me to be here today. Rise up. How are you feeling now? I am healed, prophet. I feel fine. I feel very fine, brethren. Yeah? Yes. 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 My name is Beyond Godfrey Frederick Muganzi. I'm a resident of Seta Chiwanga, Rwanda. Be besides me right here is my wife Catherine Nablondera. Why in Chiwanga, Rwanda, we had spent about a year? Then I had a, uh, a tenant I had left behind in my house that I used to occupy at home. On the 1st of May, he was so happy and invited me to go and visit him. When I went home, it, I realized I was unwelcome. So I left and came back, planned to come and pick the staff. But as I left, one of my neighbors told me, Hey, Buyondo, hey, Buyondo. careful. You are about to get what you deserve. Can't you read the situation? When I went home, I'm a dog trainer. But as I was playing with my puppies, six, six weeks old, I got a minor scratch on the leg. And then, I, I just cleaned with disinfectants. Three weeks passed by. There was no pain. Then one day, I had a little pain. I didn't mind it. Then a friend of mine visited. And he told me, boss, 
What happened? Obadechi. I told him it's a dog it's a dog bite. My friend called my mother. And he told my mother, "Hey, your son is sick." So my mother got 70,000. Gave it to my friend. And told him, "Encourage him to go to hospital." Go with him to hospital. We headed to Namirembe Hospital in uh, Mukono. I was examined and interviewed and I answered them and the doctor told me you're, you're okay just take just a few painkillers so I got the painkillers and went home when I got home at night I swallowed the tablets as I was advised that night that's the terrible night. I felt all the pain. Excruciating. Very painful. I cried. I waited for morning to come. Morning wasn't coming. I had early in the morning. I went to the nearby hospital with my wife. It's called Goma Hospital. Near me. There is a professional doctor. I went to him. I told him, boss, I took painkillers and they have worsened my life. I'm dying. Please give me an injection such that it comes down. He told me, calm down, young man. What happened? I told him it was a dog bite. A puppy. Was it immunized? Then I told him, of course it was. The doctor told me. What else? I told him we have a history of diabetes in our family. My father died of the same symptoms. Then he told me, I want you to go to Lubaga and Sambia or Chirudu. We walked back home in pain. I don't know how I got home. I called a border border man. I asked him, rush me to Lubaga. We headed to Lubaga. It was painful. This is how my leg looked. As soon as I reached Lubaga Hospital, they called doctors around, professional doctors. I was just admitted on the instant. Then they told me, in three days you might die. They told me we are going to either amputate your leg, look at how it is looking, it is drooling oil. If that oil goes into your heart, you're just going to die like that. We started to debate with the doctors. I told them I'm going to be prayed for. I'm a Christian. They called a surgeon. The gentleman squeezed my leg. I was crying like a baby. But I needed his help. I shouted in the hospital for one hour. He told me, Godfrey, this is what I'm going to do. Accept it for your survival. The man brought machines, piled them before me. He told me, this is the funny bit about it. You are in pain, yes. But, when you're diabetic, with that kind of history, we do not give you any painkillers. Neither the drug that you're given to, to make your body numb. He told me, Yangamba, the pain you feel wawurida, means your flesh is still a bit okay. So if you don't feel pain, bulumi, that means that there is debris. So I'm going to do the operation Kati, while you feel it. The man began. Remember it was just a skin rub. Jukira, kari kari 
started to cut my flesh. While I was watching him, I needed his help. I wanted to kick him. I wanted to kick the nurses. Held on to the window. And the man operated my leg. Squeeze the leg. Nothing came out. He dug deeper. Came to the tendons. I felt the knives on the bones. With those other machines, he was poking them deep into my skin. Asking me, do you feel pain? I told him I'm already in pain. Boss, I'm in pain. He told, I told him I feel like kicking you. He told me if you kick me, you'll feel more pain. So that was done. Different tests were done on my body. So many tests. They told me, boss, you're not going home. You've been hospitalized now. By that time, my mother came around. They came back and told me, beyond the Godfrey, you're a very careless man. How could your diabetes levels shoot this high? And I told them, I'm sorry. I love my life. But of course, I didn't think it would get to this worse. So there was a lady nurse, a young lady. She came to my bed and told me, Buyondo Godfrey. I'm trying to look into the medicine you should be given. But I wanted you to understand this. You don't understand what you're suffering from. It's called diabetes. It's a funny disease. You can be laughing now. Make your programs. One minute later, you're gone. So I stayed in the hospital. My random blood sugar was too high. My fasting blood sugar in the morning still very high. It was at 25 point something. So a senior doctor came in the morning. Then he told me the same thing. You're careless. Then he changed the medicine that was being given. One doctor came and looked into my face. And he cried. When he cried, he told me, Godfrey, we might amputate your leg. And, and we are doing it right now. You're not leaving the hospital. So they took me into the surgery. They just only brought me a form and told me read through it. And I read through it. Then they told me that sign it. Then when I read the clause, there was a clause that was saying once they make you sleep and they're going to operate, and you are in, into sleep, the doctor will take a decision whether to debreed or to cut off your leg. His decision will be the best. I refuse to sign. I was taken into surgery by force. They debrided. So when they debrided, this is how my leg got. So these photos show when I was debrided. When I saw this, I started to panic. I that's when they brought this machine. It's called a vac machine. It is used on cancerous wounds. They explained to me. They told me it can save you in the next six months. In those six months, your flesh will try to grow and then we will cut a piece of meat from either your bones or from the thigh. So we will put it here and we will graft your leg. And then they told me again after those six months it might not work out because you are diabetic. That still means will we'll cut off your leg. Then, I, I spoke to them and told them, gentlemen, give me guarantee. Your machine is very expensive. 870,000 every three days. It wasn't actually three days. If they put it on you on Monday, would count Monday the time they put it on you, Tuesday, and on the third day, that meant that that's the third day in the morning. So I realized those were two days. 
And I would pay it 170,000. That meant a week. I would use this thing three times. So when you do the mathematics, every week I would spend 2.6 million. And I was to stay on this machine for six months in order for them to graft, to try and graft. I calculated that money. It was 10 million for. 44,000. And in six months, it would be 60 million and over. This is just for the machine. No consultation and doctors. No medicine. I said, this leg was supposed to drive a car. But look at myself buying a Prado and putting it into, into, into my leg. I, re, I, I accepted though. They put it on my leg. I paid them cash. You can see this was on the 16th. I took this picture before they put this machine here. What you see here. Then this is when they had put the sealed off my wound. I was given a set of medicine. I was given a piece of insulin. That I was supposed to inject myself on the stomach. Twice a day. I was also given metformin. That I was supposed to swallow every time before I had a meal. The doctor just said, this man's diabetes is not coming. Sugar levels are not coming down. Let's take it at that. Send him home. I was sent home. That was on the 16th of May. And this was the discharge form. It reads Uganda Matters Hospital Ubaga. Surgical and uh, JYN word discharge form. And these are my names, patient's name. Mugans Godfrey. For one years. And then they said I was in the surgical ward. And uh, and then this is the date of discharge. 16th of June 2018. And my sugars, sugar levels at that time. And fasting, you can see fasting blood sugar. It had come to 16.5. That was the lowest. I, this is what I used to feel. I would... Uh, take a lot of water. I almost took five liters a day. And I would go to toilet several times. And I was always dizzy. And when I ate something like a banana, I would vomit it. Then I also had a problem of weakness in manhood. For, for a long time. Early in the morning, I was here at the church. I went through the process. And then I was lying to be prayed for by the man of God. Prophet Samuel Kakanda, I must say. In the name of Jesus. Be? Brethren, right now the man of God is in prayer for Brother Godfrey Biondo. Watch, brethren, as the Lord Jesus is healing him and touching his life. Healing him of his diabetes that has caused these painful wounds on the leg and the foot. Watch the working of Jesus Christ in the legs of our brother. Watch, brethren. Remember, he has suffered diabetes for 11 years. He's now getting up. Watch, brethren. He's now separating the machine from his feet. And now, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, so the man of God prayed for me as you saw on TV. Prophet Prophet Samuel Kakande. Kakande. I had all the trust. If you've never believed. That time I had belief. <laughs> Overwhelming belief. <laughs> this is what had been given at Lubaga Hospital. <laughs> this is the insulin that has given. <laughs> that I was supposed to inject myself with twice, uh, twice a day. <laughs> And you can see it, it's almost full. 
I trusted Prophet Samuel Kakande's prayers. I didn't use it again. This is how it stayed. This is metaphorin. I was supposed to swallow this every after meal. And if sometimes they would advise either before meal or immediate after. I stopped that very time. These are the injections that I was supposed to use. This is what you see here. This is the dirt that came out of my wound. And I would, this was connected to the machine, the vac machine. And what you see down here was stuck on my leg. You see this as a cheap stuff. This piece is 650,000. I was supposed to buy three of these a week. When the man of God prayed for me, I remember very well. I disconnected it. Because it was sealed, like fully sealed. I will not take it off my wound. So what I did, I disconnected it the way you see here. I did not connect it again. Because with these machines, much as they are to control pain, I still felt pain. I still had some drugs to ease the pain. But I remember when I felt the power and the pain disappeared. I trusted. I believed. I left that day. Went to Kampala Independent Hospital. And I told them I've been prayed for by a prophet. So I told them, remove this thing. Remember my leg had no pain at all. I would only visibly see it like this. But no pain. So I believed I'd been healed. I called the people of the machine. And I told them, people, please come for your machine. They, they came and they looked at me. And they told me, you're going to, you man, you're going to lose your foot. You're playing with diabetes. Your wound is going to get rotten and you regret. I told them doctors you gave me your painkillers I still felt pain the man of God prayed for me Samuel, Samuel, Prophet Samuel Kakande and the pain is gone in, in fact I did my leg like this and he jumped and walked for them and squeezed it for them and I told them take your machine and they left so after they took the machine, I began to see healing on my leg. As you see, I have so many photos of my wound. I observed it daily. The first day, I got a bicycle. That was on Tuesday. Rode a distance to my mother's place. And I saw people around her home. Then I told them, I've come to see my mother. Then a lady told me, your mother has not been speaking for a long time. And we can't believe you're here. I showed them my leg with that wound. I told them, here I am. They told me we're organizing to come and visit you. I told them, don't bother. Like Mary went to the grave and Jesus wasn't there. I'm not there at home. I am here with you. So I watched my leg, observing it every day, trying to see how it heals. Still in the morning, I would just find my skin there growing. So it would grow like that. While I observed it, so I observed my leg until it got to this level. This was this wound. You can see how this was disappearing. You can see my flesh is turning red. You can see these tendons growing. So it began to grow. And it really grew. As you can see, my leg has progressed to this healing. 
And my sugar levels were also coming down. And this is how it is. No, it's better than this. This is my leg now. It is totally purely ex exceptionally healed I am healed I am fully healed the good news is I am diabetic free watch the screen of the television brethren and see the wonder working power of God who could imagine look at the picture before the prayer the big wound that he had with the bones showing on the surface you can see all the flesh and inside inside all the legs and if you take close look you can see the veins Watch now after prayers by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. Watch, brethren. This is what Jesus Christ has done. Turning what was an impossibility. The leg that was completely rotten and forgotten that the doctors wanted to amputate it. Jesus turned that impossibility into a possibility by healing him completely. I can run. I can run. I can really, really. Really, really run. I can jump. There is no pain. Everything is fine. The bitter news is I had a friend of mine. The father had the same wound. I told them while I was in Lubaga. Let's go to Prophet Samuel Kakande to pray for us. They told me come to come to court. It's the diabetic the, the last you'll go to. With diabetic foods. I ended up here. The gentleman died. So now I'm here. And I'm a living testimony. You will see my random blood sugar. This is after the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakanda, had prayed for me. This was 21st June, three days after prayer by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakanda. And I'm not on insulin, and I'm not on metformin. It is called Lancet Laboratories. It works with TMR International Hospital. Beyond Godfrey Muganzi, 41 years of age, and uh, uh, results 6.9 mil moles, normal range between 3.8 and 7.8. Brethren, I was okay. This is Life Link Hospital. It is another private good hospital. They did my random blood sugar. This was on the 1st of November 2018. And it was reading. This is my name. Patient's name. Muganzi Buyondo Godfrey Frederick. And the results. 6.2 mil moles. And then it was saying. The lower was 3.3. 30. And the upper is 7.40. And they stamped and said, you're okay. Now this again, I went back to the Lancet Laboratories. And they did, this was on the 18th of December. I went back and tested. And they did a fasting blood sugar. And this is my name. This, it says... TMR International. From TMR International. The same Lancet Laboratories. Lancet Laboratories. Beyond Frederick Muganzi. Amanya Beyond Frederick Muganzi. 41 years old. Yakana Mugumu. Fasting blood sugar test. Sukali Ngatali Kochali De. 5.7 mil moles. Bamsula Ngali Kutana Nobutundum Sambu. And it was also saying. Elani Bagamba. No more range. 
3.8 to 6.0 and they stamped again and they said you okay and I was okay clap for Jesus I would not wear a good shoe like this one in one leg and then put another one without another leg so I, I gave them out I gave out several of them. But right now, I can wear my shoes again. In applause for Jesus Christ. Jesus is a miracle worker. He is brother beyond a God friend. Who had a rotten foot because of the diabetes. He had lost all hope of ever putting on shoes again. By the intervention of Christ Jesus through the prayer of Prophet Samokakande. Kakande comfortably put on his shoes. No more wound. No more no more pain no more discomfort the Lord Jesus has changed the times and seasons for him clap your hands for Jesus the miracle worker give him glory give him praise thank you Jesus thank you Holy Spirit thank you God the Father brethren also remember I had a weakness in my government but let my wife stand up you can see the results you can really see the results I am okay I am okay watch the screen of television brethren what brother beyond God is explaining to us is that he had weakness in manhood as a result of this diabetes now after prayers by prophet Samokakande his wife is pregnant this is the pregnancy she's showing us as a proof that he's free from the weakness remember also when the man of God Prophet Sam Kakando was praying for me. He gave me a prophecy. When he told me those are land wrangles. I said I don't have land. He told me about the mango trees. But remember the land of the mango trees. Then I remembered of our burial place in Masaka. What the man of God had told me was truly true, 100%. This is our home in Masaka. It is called Kitengesa Dekabusa. I remembered my father used to love plants. He found this old tree here, there. He, it's a mango tree. You can see how it has covered a cloud, formed a cloud of, over the, the tiles. This is at the front of the house. And this is at, and this is at the back of the house. In front of the house, there are several mango trees. To count are seven. So I remembered. I said I might not own one. But there is one in which I'm in struggle. But I wasn't, it wasn't that struggle. I wanted peace for family. Because remember, we are not talking since our father died. We are not friends at all. So when I remember this home, this home, there are some acres of land. And some people want to grab it. And I've been at the forefront. Voicing myself out, Telling them. This land will not be stolen. And these were my father's words. He called us. And told us my children. Let them take everything. But they should never steal the land. He said in Luganda, you'll excuse me, she'll interpret. My children, they should never steal this land.
from you. At least they should cut your hands and legs off. But not to take the land from you. That is why the king of Uganda we call him the landlord. And we love him so much. So no one should ever steal this land from you. It just came to my mind this morning. Nengamba, hey, his word said babate manga kama guru ne mikono na ngati watu tetaka. The words of our father were that at least they amputate your legs or your hands, but they should never steal the land. So my leg was going to be amputated. Kati nakuru kwa ngebali bagenda kutemaku. The man of God looked at me in the eyes. Omusajja wakatonda kiantu nuli la maso. And told me beyond God free. Nengamba beyond God free. I don't know you. Sikumani. But God finds me here. Na ye. And he tells me everything. You are going to die. You are going to lose your foot. You would be dead. He gave me a little money. 510 to be precise. Told me again to lie in cocoyo. I said, go and eat your chicken and celebrate. You will not die. God is not a liar. And this is the story. So what you see here. This is my father's grave in that very place. He told me. You are going back to that land. Because that's what they had prepared for you. This is my father. This is the late Jomo Ganzi. Now, you remember in the beginning, I told you, my tenant had invited me. This is the house that I got. It's only me at home that has papers for this house. The, the people that were given power by the court gave it to me in writing. My siblings. I am the only one. And I have a tenant there. So I came here. You can see this mango. Do you see this mango? On the, again on the roof. There are branches that come to the mango. And this is where I came from. And the next day. I got the dog bite. And I didn't mind it. And those were the results. You can see this is an old paper. It's for Bukede, the newspaper. The date was October 4th, 2009. They were saying, the property that the late Jomo Ganzi left has caused division between and the people and I was pointing to the estate, to our estate. This, is, this was our home. Because we are many children, we were raised by our father and with different mothers. I'm one of the eldest. So this is the home. It is People want to steal it. Nobody demands any money from my late father over this But it is causing us problems. You can see these are papers from the government. Minister of Lands and Housing. You can see their caveats. There are caveats on there. One for those that represent the children. Because we are children of different mothers. Another caveat. Is for my stepmother. So there are caveats there. And nobody at the moment. Can, can own up this house. The man of God was true to the fact. Prophet Samuel Kakanda has said does not lie. But all the lands my father left, some have been stolen. The rest that are there have caveats. And we are fighting. But we are not fighting physically. But we don't talk to each other. We've lost the love. Thank you Jesus Christ again for using Prophet Samuel Kakande for proving to the world that Uganda has a true prophet. Thank you Prophet Samuel Kakande from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for taking me as a child. Thank you again. Hallelujah Church. Amen. For Jesus Christ. My name is Nalvondela Catherine. Standing here is my husband, Beyond Godfrey Muganzi. I'm here to thank the Lord for healing my husband. 
Kubanga tebiyali byangu. It wasn't easy. Erechitibwa netendo nchidiza Yesu. I give glory and honor back to Jesus. Clap for Jesus the miracle worker.